Yeah, I've I've often said it's Keith and Charlie. Mm-hmm. It's, that's it. That's the whole band. You just take everything else out and it still sounds great. Yeah. That's what I think. <clears throat> um, yeah, Beatles, I don't know. I mean, I would say this is kind of a... I would probably rank Ringo's Im- like importance in the Beatles above George Harrison. What do you think of that? I'm... I think it might be. He I think might, he's I more think replaceable. Be, I, he's more replaceable than Ringo. Yeah, I think that's fair. I do. I think it's fair. I love George. I love his, I love his guitar playing. He's one of my favorite guitar players. But I think the Beatles still could have succeeded. Clapton. I think with a different drummer. I don't know, man. Yeah. I really don't know. Clapton could fill in for George. Potentially. I mean, they wanted. But they him wouldn't to. have had as good songs like the George songs. No, are good. the George songs are good. The slide as well. He wouldn't. Have, yeah, he can't do that. He can only do blues. Yeah, but I think they would have done okay. But you can you know? probably. I take. I'd lose the slide before I lose the drums. Yeah. If yeah. those drums were busier and were every time you went to dance, they start. They were playing like a trippy thing. Yeah, I think the drumming's super important in that group, but I think it's more important in the Stones. I think it's huge in the Stones. Something yeah. about Charlie's power and backbeat and 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 steady rhythm is is essential. Do you want to rank them against each other? I don't. Sure. I don't think Keith would have been able to do what he did. I think Keith would have been in some serious trouble without Charlie. He probably would have come to blows with whoever the other guy was. Yeah, I can see that. Um. I also, we were going to do something, we should rank them right now, but I also want to talk about the estates soon. Yeah. Well, we can yeah. talk, we'll have time, I think. Yeah. Okay. So you want to do Charlie Watts? We've also never ranked Charlie Watts, I don't think, ever. I want to rank them both yeah. against each Feet. other. At the same time or well, back to back? You do back to back. Okay. Let's not forget the change of characters here or Please categories. Don't. Okay. Characters, yeah. categories. Hang ability, Charlie Watts. Nine, eight, eight. He didn't hang that much, did he? No. He kind of wasn't. Into it. But wasn't I think I it. would have liked that vibe. Yeah. I would have probably tried to hang out with him over yeah, Keith. But he and wouldn't Nick. have wanted to because he just right. want to hang out with his wife and kids at their separate house. That was his vibe. Yeah, he wouldn't want to hang out. Getting with new you. suits from Savile Row. Just chilling. He was he was kind of a British gentleman at a yeah, young he age. Didn't really do drugs just, or nothing. did No, he? just putting on the TV, kick back. Oh, oh, it's yeah. Keith calling again. I love. I guess I'll, I'll have go to go to, to Spain. Bloody hell! Go to my niece. I'll be back when it's, I can. No problem, dear. You <laughs> will be here when you get back. You Jazzy know. guy. Eh? Yeah. I'd yeah. say, but he's not a bad guy, but hang ability, Eight, I don't know, seven, six? Seven. Mm, seven, okay. Yeah, because I like that. I like that, you know, his, and also it's about playing too. Yep. Good hang ability on the, in the jam room. The best. Yeah. Playing to yeah. the song. Yeah, on the drums, it's a 10, but let's say seven. The, the plays into it. Technical. Low. Doesn't, doesn't care. None. Not, it's not, that's well, the thing. It's jazz. like Ringo. Yeah, a bit. Does he play jazz? Five. Five or six. Five. He's not really doing anything. Like He can't yeah. even play four hi-hats in a row. <laughs> that's, isn't that a choice? I mean, no, some would say. I saw a thing that somebody Some would said, say. Kel- he got that from Keltner. Really? I saw an interview with Keltner. It was massive. And he said that he loved Charlie and... and he was really humble about this, but he said that Charlie told him, "Yeah, I saw you playing mm-hmm. some somewhere, and you took your hand off the hi hat when you hit the snare." Because Keltner was like, "I did that sometimes for fun." Yeah, and Char- and he's like, "And that's why I do it now." A always. Na- natural side chain. Yeah, exactly. Technical. Uh, yeah, is, is but- Keltner the Nilsson of the drumming world? Well, he's from I Tulsa. Mean, he's from Oklahoma. He's American. Yeah. Right? Well, he's Nilsson's buddy. Yeah. Also, Harry only got Ringo and Keltner, right? Yeah. Keith Moon did play on one on Pussycats, but that's more of a like a party joke. thing. Like a joke. It's, it's a clown thing. It fully. Yeah. It's like they, he and Ringo were partying that. So I had a week. big moment this week when I, when I 
realized that we've we've obviously in the pirate pagan pilgrim continuum uh-huh. always said that the only two artists who can do all three the father son and the holy ghost mm-hmm. were bob dylan and the beatles who have switched and been able to do all three and then the other day i realized dr huck and the medicine show <laughs> but no potentially I think, do all three <laughs> i thought we said that they did pilgrim pirate and clown well they're definitely pagan. i can't remember what you, well that's true i mean what you said yeah they don't do pagan actually you're right it's clown they're, they're you said boozed up what did you boozed up blues clown drugged up uh, pirate clown, clown I yeah think. i think that's a fair it's kind of the, yeah. where do they even fit in though like who were they hanging out with where, where are they from what's well, going they, on they, boogie they, woogie they, they started out as full kind of clown, demented clown boogie pirate yeah. rock. Yeah. With like cover of the Rolling Stone. Yes. That kind of sort of a Zappa ish kind yeah. of joke songs. Mm-hmm. But then I believe in the late 70s, they went kind of yacht. Yacht. They went yacht. I they think. They went yeah. yacht. And they, it's really smoothed out. You yeah, know, like and I think, they, yeah, and they, I think they got rid of the medicine show bit of the name. Yeah, I, I think went because so. Doctor Hook by itself quite a yachty name. Pirate, there it's Hook. Yeah. You're the on got the a water. Fucking eye patch on. You're on the water. He wears an eye patch. The medicine shows the pilgrim bit. Yeah, see, I thought that was pirate, but then I was like, oh no, it's medicine shows pilgrim. Oh, and they sound a bit pilgrim. Yeah, would take a whole kind of pills and did a whole yeah. kind of thrills. Yeah. yeah bit pagan though isn't it too like the druggy it's pretty that's what i'm medicine saying show. medicine shows mm-hmm. carnival like pilgrim yeah. pagan we've said yeah. grateful dead americana yeah, so yeah anyway i'm not sure they go full too pagan, much but clown they... to be a lot like it's like it's like uh, exactly it's exactly. kind of like when uh there's like a you know you're running because back to the olympics you're running 100 meters and your mm-hmm. world record doesn't count if there's like too much wind help yeah. Like there's too much clown. Like they're doping with clown for it to be considered serious, a serious attempt to be all three. Yeah, it, exa- that's 100% yeah. accurate. You're right. It's like if you if you have too much clown in it, you can't act it's not legitimate no. pagan or no, no. just because you make not, some not legitimate fuck, anything. Some dumb clown joke about like drugs or or potions or yeah. something. You know what I mean? It's no. like yeah, yeah, it, I think that's Whereas true. Beatles and Dylan have legitimately done all four. Yep. You know, big time all four. Yeah. You know, they've been clown, they've been pagan, they've yeah. been pilgrim, and they've they're been pirate. So Beatles yeah. pirate? George. Yeah, a bit. The shirts and things <laughs> out of it. <laughs> the fashion's a bit piratey at times. Yeah, yeah and there's there's also yellow submarine. Yeah, somehow. very <laughs> yellow submarine. Yeah, feels like I'm thinking there's something piratey there. The town where yeah, I was the, born. Yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> Ringo coming through again. Yeah, Octopus's and Garden. A, pretty. Yeah. Like <laughs> exactly. Pretty yeah. pretty much there. Yeah, I'd like to be under, under the, sea. the sea. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they are shanties. Well, they don't want to be under the sea, pirates, do they? They want to be on top of the sea. Yeah, but it seems like a shanty a pirate would sing. Yes. Like, oh, I'd like to be under the sea with you. You know? Yeah, absolutely. And Ringo, for some reason, all his songs they are give him, shanties. Well, they give him the silly ones, don't they? Don't pass me by. Don't make me cry. Don't, don't make me yeah, yeah, he is very, yeah. very, yeah, he's, <laughs> he does kind of war pirate. I'm sorry that I doubted you. You can see the them all arm in arm on the deck, on the yeah. stern deck. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. Starboard. What about George Harrison's pirate song? Yeah, but I mean, that's solo, not Beatles. But he does have that pirate song. I think yeah. that's maybe where we decided. Well, now we've figured out, though, that Ringo's got a lot of shanties. Yeah. Um... Technical. Natural five, natural I don't know, ten, nine. This guys, I mean, as natural a drummer as you get. Nine, nine. Live performance, uh, great. Ten, always great. Probably, probably nine, ten. Nine, nine. Bonham's no, but then, a ten. Yeah, 
Well, again, yeah, live, you, live, you bring in the theatrics. Re- restraint eight, eight. hurts your live score. Eight. Why? If you ha- eight. It's true, though. Because it does. No, I know it's, it's true. You, you I know need, it's yeah. true. Yeah. Uh, pa- oh, sorry. Yeah, natural <laughs> abilities actually feel. But it's the same thing. He's got great feel. He's got great feel. <laughs> now, we're at, now we're at power. Is this one that you <laughs> added in? I can't remember. Yeah, I, I don't did. remember anything, you know? I, or I added it in over sex appeal. For drummers, to the chagrin of drummers out there who have written in and been like, you know, I kind of thought uh, sex appeal is kind of the most important category for a drummer. I mean, but, yeah, you know, it is. We've does, talked a lot about showbiz row lately, but I like power. I wanted to get it in for drummers. I mean, he's what do you think that... about Charlie's power? Maybe like a seven. Six. He doesn't play with power. He's not deliberately. He's not deliberately playing with power. He's kind of soft on his hands, isn't he? I think so, but like, listen to like the Gimme Shelter and stuff. He's, he's banging pretty hard. What do you think the Stones would have sounded like uh-huh. if they had access to Abbey Road and George Martin? Or was it a conscious, deliberate decision to sound more like kind of not as good production-wise? I think that the best move the Stones ever made was when they decided to be less Beatlesy. Yeah. That was the best business decision they ever made. Mm-hmm. Cuz they were complete